Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to calculate oxygen cylinder duration. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Being a nurse or a healthcare professional, we must know the oxygen cylinder duration. Why? Because in many instances, we may shift the patient from what to what or for any diagnostic procedure like MRI scan, etc. with the help of supplemental oxygen through oxygen cylinder. In such cases, we must know how long the oxygen cylinder will last. Moreover, oxygen cylinder is a life-saving equipment and hence, every nurse should know the oxygen cylinder status before every shift. Now, let's get into the calculation. We may have heard about Boyle's law, which states that pressure and volume of a given amount of a confined gas are inversely proportional, that is, PV equal to K, where P is pressure, V is volume, and K is the constant value. To find the duration of the oxygen cylinder, the following formula is applied. K multiplied by P minus R divided by F, where K is the tank constant or tank conversion factor. Each cylinder size has its own constant as shown in the image. P is the tank gauge pressure in PSI, that is pounds per square inch. R is the safe residual pressure in PSI, typically 200 PSI. Safe residual pressure is a term that implies it is not safe to continue using an oxygen cylinder with a pressure of less than 200 PSI. Any oxygen tank or cylinder that reaches the designated safe residual pressure should be replaced with a full tank. In many institutions, 500 PSI is used as the safe residual pressure and it may vary according to the institutional policies. F is the flow in liters per minute, which is nothing but the oxygen flow rate. We have one more formula to calculate the cylinder duration. Tank pressure in PSI minus safe residual pressure multiplied by tank conversion factor divided by flow rate in liters per minute. You can use any of these formulas to calculate the cylinder duration. Let's have a look on the example so that you can clearly understand. Patient is on nasal cannula at 4 liters per minute. The E cylinder tank has a capacity of 1000 PSI remaining. How long will it last? The formula goes tank pressure in PSI minus safe residual pressure multiplied by tank conversion factor divided by flow rate in liters per minute. Here, tank pressure in PSI is 1000. Safe residual pressure is 200. Tank conversion factor is 0.28. Flow rate in liters per minute is 4. Applying all into the formula, we get the answer 56 minutes. Hence, the cylinder will last for 56 minutes if it goes at 4 liters per minute flow rate. One more example, patient is on simple face mask at 6 liters per minute. The M cylinder tank has a capacity of 1800 PSI remaining. How long will it last? The formula goes Tank pressure in PSI minus safe residual pressure multiplied by tank conversion factor divided by flow rate in liters per minute. Tank pressure in PSI is 1800. Safe residual pressure is 200. Tank conversion factor is 1.56. Flow rate in liters per minute is 6. Applying all into the formula, we get the answer 416 minutes and converting this to hours, we get 6 hours 56 minutes. 
Here are a few examples for your practice and you can mention the answers on the comment box. Patient is on simple face mask at 4 liters per minute. The e-cylinder tank has a capacity of 600 psi remaining. How long will it last? Patient is on nasal cannula at 6 liters per minute. The M cylinder tank has a capacity of 1200 psi remaining. How long will it last? Patient is on nasal cannula at 3 liters per minute. The D cylinder tank has a capacity of 1000 psi remaining. How long will it last? So this is all about calculating oxygen cylinder duration. If you have any suggestions on topics to be discussed, you can mention it on the comment box. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.